All right, so let's talk about customizing Maya interface. So there's really a lot of things that you can do here. So I'm gonna cover uh, just a few that are really interesting. So for example, we wanna talk about how to change your colors, uh, how we can rearrange the panels so that you have maybe minimalistic workspace uh, like this. And we're also gonna talk about uh, hotkeys. So uh, let's start with the color combination. So colors can be found on the windows. Uh, settings preferences and then color settings. So basically here you have general uh, 3D views. Here you can play with the background. Uh, then you will have active, which I will reveal basically the ones that I think that I play the most with and inactive right here as well. So objects, components, and the formers. So I'm not sure how much I played with the inactive ones but uh, just in case, I'm gonna leave a screenshot uh, of these color setups. So just in case you would maybe like to uh, copy the colors and use it in your own interface, but I'm gonna show you now how you can match that or maybe customize it to your liking. So let me just uh, select the sphere and increase the sphere. So let's uh, take vertices as an example. So for now, my vertices are in a greenish tone and basically you can see here polygon vertices are green. And if I would like to change that green, I can simply click here, get this color editor to choose a different color, or I can simply choose this slider and basically slider will switch between these colors. So if I want to have vertices, let's say a uh, same bluish tone or let's say red, I just need to push the slider to this red tone. So let me just find where that red is. So it's right here. So you can see now my vertices are red. And same thing would be if I want to, let's say, or red edges, I just need to come here to polygon edges and then move it to the red and then I will have a red edge. So basically, yeah, that is, that is it. It's fairly uh, simple. You can play around with it until you find your own color combination that you like. Uh, one other color here is a grid. Grid, you can go to display and grid right here. Uncheck this and then you will have this little pop-up and here again you can play with the color of the grid. Hit apply and yeah, it's very, very simple. All right, so uh, now when I talk, was talking about vertices, you can also change the vertices size and also what you can change let me just show you here. So for example, you see that my edge border uh, here is much thicker than my uh, edges are. So that can be really helpful to, let's say, let me just show you an example of what I mean, is that I can now come here and detach the components and then select all the edges that will just maybe will then just easier uh, notice if you have broken edge somewhere so it's then much thicker so to change that so to change so you can see it also here maybe better so to change uh, the vertices size and this border edge we need to go to display actually you have display and windows so let's go to windows settings preferences first and preferences and then it's on the display polygons. And then basically here on the vertices size, you can uh, set your value and an edge width. You can here set the value and make sure that you highlight border edges and simply hit save. And on the display polygons, you also have vertices size right here. And on display polygons, border uh, edges and then edge width, you have right here all right so uh, I think if you apply the settings you won't see it immediately I think you will need to either open a new scene or reset uh, the Maya so not sure about that all right uh, let's now talk about uh, the panels here on the side uh, how we can rearrange that and well basically what you can do let's say that you do not need this time slider or the shelf or the toolbox you simply need to go to uh, Windows, UI Elements, and then let's say here, remove the time slider, shelf, command line, or basically anything. I also have shelf on a hotkey, just in case I want to, let's say, have it uh, 
uh, without going into these menus. So I'll just now let's say disable time slider, uh, UI elements, and then range slider, and so on. So basically it's like that. And again, shelf for me is in a hotkey, so I can just toggle between the shelf if I need it or not. You can also uh, reorganize the panels. So for example, if you would like to move this to the right side, all you need to do is just hover over this dotted area and while well, holding left click, just drop it right here. And there you are. Once you're done editing, the only thing that you need to do is save this. So you simply need to come to workspace, this drop down menu, and then save current workspace as, and then just give it a name and simply hit okay. If you want to revert to my original, you can just go to reset current workspace and then you will have your workspace back. All right, uh, let's now talk about hotkeys a bit. So hotkeys can be found under Windows, settings preferences, hotkey editor. So once you open a hotkey editor, you will have this window and it will say here to press Control, Shift and Alt in any combination on a keyboard to show unassigned keys using those modifier keys. So basically, uh, you can also hover over the keys and see which hotkey is assigned to what. So for example, if you hover over E, you will see that if, uh, for me is assigned to move tool and I also have Shift T, Control E and Alt E combination. Uh, so how you assign hotkeys? Uh, basically, you need to come to this area right here. And also one thing I forgot to mention is that here you can see that whatever is uh, green is a signed key and whatever is gray says that it's unassigned key. So it should be free. Uh, also, so now what I would like to mention, yeah, uh, here how you, you can create your own uh, hotkey sets. So by default, you will probably have Maya default like this. So you can duplicate it. And then from that duplicate, you can create your own custom hotkeys. So for example, what I did first is I changed my move rotation and scale tools. Uh, I come from Cinema 4D, so I kind of used to using E uh, for move, rotation is R and scale is T. So I changed those hotkeys. By default, I think is W, E is for um, move, uh, E is for rotation and R is for scale. So uh, how to change that? You simply need to come here. So you can search by application command, runtime command, or hotkey. So for now, we're gonna leave it on application command. So I will come here and just type in move, and I will have here move tool. So there's move tool and there's move tool option. So basically the difference is move tool option is gonna be this. So if you assign it to a hotkey, whenever you will hit a hotkey for move tool option, you will get this window instead of operation. So just make sure you have it to move tool and click here and then hit E or any other hotkey you would like and then assign it by clicking again on the move tool, save it and I'll just clear the search. And basically that's it, same thing for scale. I have here scale tool is set to T, just assign a hotkey, click here and save it and clear the search. And basically that is it. So if you assign it, you can now uh, hover over it let's say over T and then you will see what hotkeys are assigned. Also there's here runtime command editor, which just means that you can assign uh, specific scripts to a uh, hotkey if necessary. And yeah, um, basically more or less that is it I think. And I think I will also leave in the description down below all my hotkeys just in case you wanna use uh, the same ones. But yeah, uh, more or less I think that is it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.